Go bid thy mistress, when my drink is ready, she strike upon the bell, get thee to bed. Is this a dagger which I see before me? The handle toward my hand. Come, let me clutch thee. I have thee not, and yet I see thee still. Art thou not fatal vision, sensible to feeling as to sight? Or art thou but a dagger of the mind, a false creation proceeding from the heat-oppressed brain? I see thee yet in form as palpable as this which now I draw. Thou marshalest me the way that I was going, and such an instrument I was to use. <sighs> Mine eyes are made the fools of the other senses, <laughs> or else worth all the rest. I see thee still, and on thy blade, and dudgeon gouts of blood, which was not so before. <sighs> There's no such thing. It is the bloody business which informs thus to mine eyes. Now o'er the one half world nature seems dead, and wicked dreams abuse the curtained sleep. Witchcraft celebrates pale Hecate's offerings, and withered murder, alarmed by his sentinel the wolf, whose howls his watch, thus with his stealthy pace with Tarquin's ravishing sides, towards his design moves like a ghost. Thou sour and firm set earth, hear not my steps which they may walk, for fear thy very stones prate of my word about, and take the present terror from the time which now suits with it, while as I threat he lives, words to the heat of deeds to cold breath gives. I go, and it is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell that summons thee to heaven or to hell.